Yes, yes, massive recruit back once again with another video. And this video goes out to uh, one of the comments on the channel, a uh, man like Farben. Uh, yes, yeah, so you've asked for a, a sort of a comparison between the time stretches. Now, as this is um, Akiza represents the Akai S uh, 3000 or 3000 XL, I wanted to compare it with the Akai S 3000. And uh, in, instead of doing it with the 950. Also, I could actually do a video with the 950 version as well. Um, so I had that in mind uh, for a later video. So without further ado, let's get into it. So what you've got here at the moment is I've got some samples uh, that I literally, um, I've got something here that I sampled on the Akai S3200. I've done a time stretch and I've done it in all increments of 200, right? So you'll, you'll that will come sort of uh, together in a minute. The increments were done um, using the, the amount of cycle length. So I, I sort of uh, done the time factor by 200% here. As you can see, I've got Akiza right below me here on the screen here. There you go, right down there. And as you can see, um, I've got the cycle length set to 1000, which is the first time stretch here. And what, what I did, I went, um, down, this is an original recording from the actual um, Akai S3000 XL, and it sounds pretty much, I would say, exactly the same. Um, and I've done increments on the uh, cycle length uh, to go down by 200, 200 at a time, right? So... And as you can see, the pitch gets higher and higher, and it's, it's time stretched. So what we're going to do today... Right, so let's get that to sound the same as that. So we're going to do this at cycle length is... So first of all, do it at 200, uh, 200%. So let's put 200 in there for the, so get a time stretch. Press preview. So let's do a quick comparison. Okay, press stop there and press preview. So that one sounds like it's slightly upper pitch. So let me just try this at 900. I'm going to try and match it. I want to put that cycle link to 900. I don't remember doing this when I did the Akai though. Right, so let's have a look. Okay, this one. And this one. Now, pitch sounds slightly up. So I'm going to put this back to 1,000, right? So this has got to be the 1,000. Let's do the 1,000. Start with that. It's definitely the 1,000, right? So here you go. you got your 1,000 there, right? Press play. And then we're going to preview. That's the Akaiza. This is the original Akai. 1,000. So it sounds like it's about a, t a semitone out. Let me try taking the semitone um, down. Maybe it sounds a little bit like it, like it's pitched up a bit. So I'm gonna go transpose it down a semitone. This is pretty tricky to use this thing. There you go. Right. So you got okay. So yeah. So preview. Ah, uh, sounds nothing like it. All right. So let's try this then. But I'll tell you what. It's, it sounds pretty close. I'm just gonna just do it right. So you can check it out. Right. So okay. So here we go. So. This is 200%. Ah, keep doing that. Two hundred percent, two hundred percent here. Right, now this should be eight hundred cycle length, exactly the same two hundred, but eight hundred cycle length. This one, 800 cycle length. It sounds like it's slightly pitched up more. This one's going to be eight, seven, 600. 600. Akaiza 400. Two hundred. 
Akaiser 200. So as you can see, there's a slight pitch difference, but it's very, very good. Uh, maybe if we put it this, and that's using the revised version. Let's try the classic version and see if, how it matches up. So as you can hear, it's slightly different, but it's still sounding good. So guys, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna basically uh, program all these up, and I'm gonna save them into a file so you guys can download, check it out for yourself. I'll put a link in the description where you can get the uh, Akaiser. I uh, hope you found this video useful and interesting. Uh, that's it for today's video. Take care. God bless. Peace. I'm a